some new faces. Hey! Where you get that camera from? You stole it? Oh, Sony, it's the crank up camera. You gotta crank it up. <laughs> Man, it is good to see y'all tonight. I'm so happy that you came out to have dinner with us. Are you enjoying the food? Yeah. Now, Jamie's been doing this since I've been alive. Uh, I've, been, I've been on this earth since the 1900s. And, uh, hi. And I must say, I've been, thank you. Somebody said I look good. Thank you. Are you born 1914? I'm lying. I was not born 1914. But it's definitely 19 something. And, um, you know, I just, I'm so honored to be able to come up here on stage and share some, some of my energy with you guys. Uh, I remember coming here back in the 97, doing the Laugh Factory Comedy Camp, and then coming back in like 2000, because I was homeless and hungry, and I needed some, yes, yes, girl, I was homeless, I, Some of us, the most beautiful people are homeless. The most gorgeous, darling, we love we go through our struggles, we love. I like to think that my situation, which happened several times, was to teach me how to handle all this success and rejection. And, 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 and look, I, I'm feeling okay, you know? It's so funny because people are like, how, can you, how are you handling all the haters? It's so many haters, how are you handling all the haters? And, and you know what? I send love and positive energy to the haters because first of all, you're taking time out of your life to think about mean things to say to me. That means you have to think about nice things first. Then you gotta fix your mind and think about mean things. So that's, you know, more energy for me. Thank you. And my mom was not necessarily the nicest mom. She used to be really mean. She used to talk mess about me all the time. She used to be like, dang, your hair is ugly. Well, you my mama call me. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do the same thing to <laughs> But like my mom used to say really mean stuff to me, so when so and that's the first person I ever loved. You know, it's the first person I ever loved. When you think about it, who the first person you ever loved is usually your mom. And she was pretty mean. So there was some stranger, somebody I don't even know, somebody I can't even see that's on the other side of a phone or whatever, talking mess about me. And I don't know them, and they're talking mess about me. It's like, well, I don't even, I don't even love you. I don't care about, I don't care if you got something in it. I don't know not, I'm not in your phone? Well, you know, I tell people that don't like me. Well, first of all, the fact that they took the energy and the time to tell me they don't like me means they like me. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about it. Because if you really don't like something, you don't give it no energy, right? You don't give it no time, no energy, no nothing. Yeah, because they like me. That's what they want to get my attention. So, um, I remember being in elementary school and boys pulling my hair. I, I know better than everybody up here. They like you. But you see, you don't pull black women's hair because it's going to detach. <laughs> Don't pull these braids, they will slip out. <laughs> and I will walk away. <laughs> you have a question? Yes. Did what? Oh, oh, you're talking about in Like a Boss? In, uh, so I got a movie coming out January 10th called Like a Boss. And in the movie, I do this stuff where I'm hanging off the side of the building and like holding onto this uh, like uh, banner or whatever and just by my feet. And I really did do that. Yeah, I really did. Let me tell you something. It was 15, 15 floors up in the middle of Atlanta, Georgia in this huge like mall-like thing. And um, I... But see, okay, so what happened was, I don't know if y'all know about the baby shark ab challenge, but I've been doing this baby shark ab challenge on my ass. Now, it's a little bit, it's a little, like, it's, I got, see, I got abs under this fat, but that fat protects it, keeps it warm. And I mean a little jiggle, because the men like to jiggle, baby. You know, I want, they want to get all ripped and hard. I'm like, no, I'm going to keep a little layer of fat over for the boys. It likes to jiggle. It keeps them warm in the winter. <laughs> Say what? Was I scared? No, I was not. Because I knew if they uh, let me die, my family gonna be paid. So, they didn't want to do that. They didn't want to let me die. They had, you know, protective measures and whatnot. They had protective measures and whatnot. But I know that my abs are strong. I knew I could hold myself up. And um, and it was, I actually had fun doing it. It's, everybody else was scared as hell. Like, 
The director was scared. Everybody was scared. But I wasn't scared. In real life, I was like, this is fun. I'm so glad I've been doing my ab workout. Okay, man, you know the same question and answer. It's, it's a show. <laughs> we can't do a question and answer portion. Thank you. And sister, I, you know what I love is that you you are feeling my energy so much you just want to talk to me. That is a blessing. Where was you at when I was homeless, bitch? Because no one was Okay. I was giving out the same energy. I was the same person. 15 pounds lighter, maybe 20 pounds lighter, but the same person. Just a little more hungry. We could have talked to me then. You didn't even think about me then. <laughs> Knock it off, bro. <laughs> I still love you. I still love you. And, and yeah, uh, well, you know, get, make sure you got your acting classes together. Um, yeah, you know what? I want to. I, I feel like I'm in a room full of family, and I want to do something that um, that's a tradition where I come from. And, you know, I'm from South Central Los Angeles, and usually when families get together, there's a little dancing. <laughs> 